Hey there, Rustin here. So, is uh, that time again? Time for a new ban list? It actually came out yesterday on Thanksgiving, November 24th. I uh, just uh, kind of happened to sleep all day. Yeah, uh, how do I know that there is a new ban list? Uh, whenever I was like waking up in between sleeping, I, you know, I hopped into like, you know, the chats and stuff and I saw a tiny spoiler. So uh, Jeremy had posted a screenshot of what I assume is the ban list. I'm pretty sure it's a ban list. Even he was like, it's probably gonna drop like on Thursday. So there's that. But uh, I did see one small spoiler. I'm pretty sure I read feasting just on there, which I mean, I'll, I'll start with that and then I'll talk about like what I'm expecting on the ban list. With the uh, release of uh, A New World Emerges, additions have become very powerful, very good. Just be able to start the game with an addition and have a buff there and then also feasting, you know, like can cancel spells and abilities or your opponent has to pay like a certain number of will based on the additions you have. Like just having one addition and just, yeah, like early game, it's very powerful and then stuff with like like Falchion where like you are ramping on those additions really hard. She's a she's a four of and just about like any deck that can run her. So I completely understand that going on to the ban list. I don't know if it was a combo ban or if it was just a flat ban. I just saw those like screenshot whatever pictures and I was like oh shit that's ban list text. Turn away Rustin. <laughs> so uh yeah I've been waiting all day. Uh you can actually see like chats have built up. Um uh, there was uh so originally I was like clicked on custom cards. There's a few messages on there. It wasn't ban list related. Yeah, I haven't gotten to welcome anyone. Uh, been avoiding the ruler school and the force of wind. I'm pretty sure the force of wind doesn't have anything going on unless it's like, hey, update these ban list cards. But I was just like, I'm just gonna avoid the discord until I see this because I want my reaction to be as genuine as possible. Obviously, like I had that tiny spoiler, but I don't know what else is gonna be on there. And who knows, maybe some stuff came off. Hmm? Fingers crossed. Belial and Virgil, maybe? But yeah, I also have this message in Wanderer, which Wanderer is like where you go for like deck brewing and stuff. So I'm a little concerned that I have a message there. It could also just be like the helper role, I guess. But uh, I'm a little concerned to click on that. Uh, <laughs> so before we get into this, so stuff that aside from feasting, which I, I'm pretty sure, you know, she's going to be on there in some capacity. So... Sprinting Steward. That card is really good. I don't know if it's ban worthy, but there was definitely people that like were kind of talking about it. It was definitely tossed around. It wasn't like hard like it needs to be banned. Vega didn't like get like first place in, you know, recent tournaments. As far as I know, I'm pretty sure he didn't. At, at least at uh at least at Foulfest he didn't, he didn't get first place. Inferno, I feel like should be safe. I feel like Inferno should be safe. Inferno's my baby, not gonna lie. Like, you know, they killed Belial, they killed Virgil. I still have my inferno dante is you know he's he's a god's art without virgil he's he's you know just he's there he's a non-negative affecting fallen angel ruler that is what he is right now <laughs> he you use him to call stone <laughs> uh yeah so really hoping that Inferno isn't hit in any capacity whatsoever. You need that card to beat decks are like hard on life gain. They're hard on like, uh, you know, going wide on boards. Uh, maybe decks that like, you know, draw a million cards or something like stuff like that. I feel like Inferno will always be a necessary card just to have in the meta. It is a comeback mechanic that I like to abuse. <laughs> So I feel like Inferno is going to be safe. Once again, I would love for Belial and or Virgil to come off the ban list. I'm still going to say it. Belial should have been combo banned with uh, Asmodeus before actually like going to the just flat out ban. I feel like I feel like the plug was pulled there too quickly. The Resonators that can do God's Arts, aside from Raymond, I did not see any like really floating around, at least at least to my knowledge. I, I wasn't like hardcore looking, but I feel like Raymond is the only one that like actually sees any play from what I can tell. I, I don't think one more God's Art would like super impact the deck. Like, yeah, it's a great card, but like, I don't think it was like game breaking. And then uh, a dream would be a combo unbanned list. So stuff like uh, now the Hotep got hit pretty hard with uh, a recent ban list. So having like some of her cards only be able to be played with her would help her a bit and like make her a little more relevant. And then a combo unban for like Virgil. Like if you want to play Virgil, you have to play it with Dante. You can't play Virgil in any other deck. Uh, let's see now. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and talk about the obvious ones. Warhorse should 
should be banned. At the very least, it should get a errata to where the Let's Ride ability is a once per game and not a uh, just an ability it has. Like, it, sh it should have been a God's Art, in my opinion. And even with that, I feel like that might be too strong. I I don't know. Uh, let's see now. Uh, da -da 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 -da. uh, Origins. Yeah, Origins. I was down for a combo ban with, like, Dry Wing, but it was brought to my attention that uh, there's really just a lot of cards that, you know, they get bonuses from being revealed from outside the game, so maybe Origins really shouldn't be in the meta whatsoever, which I'm fine with that. Origins, to me, felt like I need to run at least three of them in my deck in order to reveal my Dry Wings, like, somewhat consistently, but it really like shuts off a bunch of other decks that you know maybe like filter will like the you know moon children or you know will dorks like uh elvish priest and regalia beast they just can't really make use of them that much if dry wing was like worded to where like neither player could like produce will like that or something like that and then like maybe dry wing like doesn't like let you recover a stone like that definitely felt like it was something that was made before Wanderer becoming the main format was like properly like in the works. It definitely felt like, uh, you know, oh, this is in a rotating format, you know. But then you look at Regalia Beast and it's just like, eh, yeah. Something else to talk about, Child of the Light Moon and Child of the Fire Moon being like combo banned. I could see that. Basically, the thing was for that is that it was essentially a silence for the most part. Like, yeah, you got one spell, but like a lot of decks these days are very much like, you kind of want to like play more than just one card a turn and uh if you try to like lore write a child of the light moon's god's art the child of the fire moon could just like block that so it's like oh that was your one that was your one spell turn oh i guess you just silenced yourself speaking of silences i'm not sure why law of silence is still on the ban list at this point like we have two and like i said technically three with child of the light moon silences yeah they're all in light and light isn't like as powerful as wind but i could see just a combo ban of like no no i take that back loss because it's wind is because it's wind that i think it should still be banned but yeah no that was saying that like i thought about for a while but uh yeah i think i went over just about everything um this is kind of weird this is the first time the ban list has come out and i haven't even gotten my pre-release kit yet i had to order from a uh seller in australia it's just weird uh going into a new ban list without having like properly looked at the new cards there was uh yeah no i can't think of any of the new cards that are like you know being discussed is like oh that should get banned or combo banned with this and stuff but uh yeah all right i think i've stalled enough i'm definitely worried it's a crack open a dr pepper for good luck <sighs> please don't have me have to make a new deck all right the ban list is always on post nine like there's this one and then there's there's a previous one i don't know why halo hasn't like posted i guess reposted it but yeah so this is the ban list for 11 24 2022 thanksgiving let's uh see if we have some stuff to be thankful for did i click it oh yep, yep, yep. all right uh the ban combination ban list i'm very much just gonna block that Oh wait, you know what I can do? I'm gonna close my eyes, I'm gonna control and scroll. Genius, Rustin, genius. Hello Rulers, the release of the new set, The Underworld of Secrets, comes with a new update of the ban list and the combination ban list. For the last three months, we have been gathering data for events from all over the world. We have seen a lot of different rulers and a lot of different strategies which make us glad. Deck diversity feels like it's it's been pretty solid, just because like there's been cards that have come out that older rulers are able to make use of. And if you guys have seen uh, the uh, Foulfest uh, 2022 videos, you can see some like older rulers that you know kind of make use of those newer cards yeah but we have also seen a few cards being played in a different way that they were designed to so we are doing a minor adjustment to the format understandable this time we are also releasing cards from the ban list and the combination ban list in order to give the older rulers new tools to compete against the new ones okay cool cool is sherry getting unbanned 
Yeah, no, that, that was also something joked about. I wasn't even going to bring it up, but they said that uh, cards are coming off, so. We will keep updating the ban list and the combination ban list, making them better. Thanks for your understanding. Also, some of you have asked in social media to explain not only the new ban list or no longer banned cards, but to also explain the combination ban list choices. From now on, we will also do short explanations about why we are doing combinations. Okay, cool. Oh, let's see what brings up this new update. Okay, effective today. Yeah, wanderer no longer banned. Forced meditation. Let me actually let me actually bring this up uh, in a different page. So you know, choose up to two. Put target resonator from your graveyard into your hand, or put two target magic stones from your graveyard into. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Well, that's a good thing. It's a rune. Gruus Ballesta's support cards just got a lot better. Wow. <laughs> okay, well, that's cool. <laughs> Alright, uh, then, uh, Kaguya, Sealed God of the Moon, uh, yeah, it's DBV, yeah. I'll go ahead and pop that up real quick. Uh, yeah, I'll, ju I'll just pop, yeah, no, that's more, that's more no known card, I'll just pop that up on screen. Forest Meditation, I was like, what the fuck was that again? <laughs> yeah, alright. Okay, banned. Oh, okay, yeah, yep. The Origin of the Seven Lands is banned, and Warhorse, okay, cool. Cool, good stuff, good stuff. That uh, that shows that they were listening. I'm uh, very happy about that. It's, I mean, obviously we have, you know, people that have like closer ties to the company and stuff, but uh, that right there, that's that's really healthy for the game. Having a dry wing be either you play Typhon, who has had hits that kind of nerfed him to where he's like, he's still good, but he's not as like arguably amazing as he was when he started. That, uh, that was a good call. And there's other ways to reveal dry wing but you really have to work for it so there's that warhorse yeah warhorse warhorse is really cool it is a really cool card it was a mistake maybe even making it a god's art ability it might have still been a mistake or what it should have been was like you have to you have to pay will in order to use that ability or something I don't know. Once again, cool concept, cool idea, not not a healthy card. I'm sad to see that Belial was not on there. I'm happy that Inferno was not on there, and I am happy to see that, uh, you know, Sprinting Steward wasn't on there. I might be able to just, like, roll with Viga and, like, maybe test out some, like, uh, new rollers that, uh, you know, came out with the new set, but uh, probably probably lean on Viga a bit more, yeah. Alright, so no longer in the combination ban list. Let's see what they're working with. Rewriting Laws and Melfi, that's fair... Fair spell and save the stage for Providence. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that one. The rewriting laws and Melfi, they're basically the same card. Uh, rewriting laws is a chant, so yeah. I mean, like you, you would still prefer to run Melfi over rewriting laws, but yeah. Fair spell and save the stage for Providence. I don't know how to feel about that one. I feel like uh, I don't know. That might that might get out of hand. More than likely, it's probably gonna be fine. But like, I could see that being a bit of a menace. But now we. we probably fine with that. Okay, what else we got? Uh, Guinevere, Space Time Watcher, and Unity of the Machine Knights. Uh, yeah, no, that's, I, here's, like, Deus Ex Machina, like, and also his support cards barely see any play, so that's, yeah. Uh, then obviously Origin of the Seven Lands and Ains, I mean, Origin of the Seven Lands is, uh, banned, so, yeah, no, that, that's whatever. Um, that was not necessarily needed, but, you know, good to, like, you know, put in writing. <laughs> But yeah, this might, uh, this might make, this might make, uh, Deus Ex Machina more playable, maybe? So, there's that, that's pretty cool. Or, actually, Dex might have been, like, trying to run that outside of Deus Ex Machina, so we'll, we'll see what gets built. It's gonna be interesting. Combination ban, Gerda, the Tear of Passion, and Key Lua, Fossil of Melted Ice. Uh, Gerda was... Gerda, that, that's from, uh, that's from, like, the Ice Queen fairy tale, right? I had the, uh, had the boy that's, you know, it, I'm gonna look it up real quick. I'm pretty sure that's the red-blue that removes counters from, I thought it was just Resonaires. Is it just removes counters that you have? That's Gerda. I'll, I'll pop Gerda. I remember this being talked about a little bit. Uh, let's see, activate, remove a counter from a card you control. Okay, yep. Scar games, uh, swiftness, flying, or target attack until end of turn. Yep, yep. Uh, this was played with, uh... Uh, God, I'm forgetting his name. I'm just gonna pop it up real quick. But like the idea was uh, you got Gerda and then you also have, uh, what was his name? Oh, here we go. Kai. Kai. Enter, put three frozen counters on this card. Ah, frozen counters. Uh, this card cannot attack or block. 
whenever Reznor is found in a graveyard. So yeah, you would uh, remove counters from uh, Kai. You'd have a 12-12 that more than likely would be able to attack that turn because you're probably dropping Kai before you drop Gerda. It's a cool combo. Never played it that much, to be honest. I don't know, my my like early Force of Will days were very like jank jank. But yeah, no, that, that's uh, that's an understandable combo ban, yeah. Uh, then we have Mary Bella, Sincere Janir, Heart to Heart to Talk, and Hide, Solitary Assassin. That's understandable, yeah. Heart to Heart is a uh, very good card. <laughs> Yeah. Back to nature and painter gears. That was another combo that people were talking about and I was like, fuck yeah, that's fucking cool. Uh, so basically, uh, painter gears, uh, on enter, you'd be able to, like, target entity gains a, uh, attribute of your choice or something like that. And, uh, magic stones don't have a attribute, so they would gain an attribute and then you could back to nature it. It was really cool, and I was actually, like, kind of debating playing Shiva a little bit. Maybe, like, you know, uh, on, like, the Converging Wills, uh, Discord, where they have, like, uh, online locals or something. I probably wouldn't, like, take it to, like, a tournament or something you know because that's not necessarily my style of play but it was definitely a very like cool dumb little combo but no that, that's that's a fair that's a fair combo man I, i'm completely fine with that let's see what else we got bearded decay plus asuka asuka gravekeeper asukiyomi yeah i don't i don't think asuka really deserved a combination ban there i haven't i mean obviously spirited decay is gonna get like super buffed and deal a lot of damage that you know gets by barrier <sighs> yeah no that that one's that one's fair i yeah no <sighs> that one is understandable i don't know if it was called for then next we have child of the light moon and child of the fire moon yep <sighs> Yeah, that's a, that's a very strong combination. Uh, I didn't run it in the Foulfest tournament because I really wanted, like, access to, uh, you know, Wind Will. So, yeah. But that's playing against it. Yeah, that's really strong. There's no, uh, there's no recordings of me playing against that. I really do regret not busting out my camera because there are honestly some fun games and, you know, super casual, just, like, basically playtesting. But Ryan and, uh, Jeff, uh, we, uh, had the same flight out to, uh, the Chicago O'Hare from Kalamazoo and, uh, we just just kind of like chilled and like played games for like a couple hours I, I don't know how long we were there i think it was just a couple hours but like ryan was uh running uh vega with uh child of the light moon and child of the fire moon and uh yeah it's, it's a good combination <laughs> Yeah, no, that, uh, that one's fair. That one's a fair one. I honestly was not sure how to counterplay the Child of the Light Moon going off with Child of the Fire Moon on standby because, like, yeah, I know it's, it's hard to answer that. Unless you have two Lorites, like, yeah, nah. <laughs> Uh, let's see if we have anything else going on. Uh, Squirrel of Solari and Reconnaissance Gears. What was Reconnaissance? What? Oh, that's the new one, right? Yeah. Uh, Recon... I'm trying not to look at the next line. Uh, Recon Gear... Reconnaissance Gears is... Yeah, rev Okay, right, 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 right. You may reveal gears you own from outside the game and shuffle into your deck. Uh, because it's getting revealed, you, uh, you know, get to recover a stone with Squirrel. So, there's a, you know, not really, like, ramp, but, like, yeah. Actually, wait, no, yeah, reveal this card from your hand if you control gears yeah okay yeah so there's actually just straight up ramp there because of the bottom line reveal this card from your hand if you control a gears j ruler put this card into the field against enter banish this card that's whatever basically you're like ramping there so that's an understandable uh, combination ban yeah good stuff there then engineer of eternal and falchion yep i talked about uh feasting which i guess isn't even on here what the fuck did i read what the fuck did i read i saw i saw a screen shot for feasting what the fuck did i read I, I need to go look in the discord and see what the fuck is going on there but engineer of eternal is actually really powerful uh round three which is part two of the found fest little video series i have going on you can actually see engineer of eternal just kind of pop off <laughs> it's really good especially in falchion yeah uh <laughs> Yeah, no, that, uh, that was a, that was an understandable combination ban. That, uh, Engineer of Eternal is really good, really good, yep. She's good in other decks that are heavy on additions and stuff, but yeah, and Faustion just, so good, so good. Uh, and that, yeah, where, where the fuck did I see Feasting? What screenshot did I look at? 
where I saw feasting. I don't know. Okay, so this is how the combination band lives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, wanderer band. Uh, yeah, so there's all that. Maybe I saw uh, number 11 feasting right there, and that might have been it. I don't know. Also, they need to reorganize this. Either make it alphabetical or like have this like by sets releases. Like, yeah, come on. Yeah. There's my boys, my poor boys. Oh. Yeah, no, they, they, they just just organize this better. Either make it alphabetical or do it by set release. Like, come on. That, that's, that's my gripe. Yeah, no, this is... This looks like a lot, but something cool. If anyone here is new... So, on Force of Wind, which is, like, where you should always be making your decks... Uh, let me just, uh... Uh, yeah, come my deck list. Uh create a new deck uh so uh one of the obvious ones uh is like hanzo so let's grab uh hanzo resonator and kaguya Oops, if i can kaguya the order kaguya ruler so these two right here are combination band if you uh hit save and then yep right there uh so halo has it to where it'll just show you like where it's like breaking the rules it's like really handy it even gives you like a little image of like which cards need to be not together in a deck so you can like go edit deck list oh i, I really want to play kaguya can't play hanzo okay let's remove that maybe like we'll uh we'll throw like galileo in there and we'll do like some uh moon shenanigans where the fuck is galileo there he is oh yeah we'll, we'll roll with that as the deck and stuff and you know yeah. force of wind if you're deck building that's that's your go-to you should really like even if you like like to deck build like with physical cards which i actually enjoy doing that a lot like a majority of my deck building is grabbing a bunch of cards that i think i want to like run in a deck and just like having a pile and then just kind of sorting through the pile at the end just go into force of wind and like toss your deck in there and see like what is wrong like if it's like banned or something and all that uh let's see you know, let's get to the exp explanations uh Say, Origin of Seven Lands. Sometimes the purpose of a card changes when we release a certain kind of mechanic set later. The Origin of Seven Lands was designed to work with the seven kings of the land, calling those powerful queens and kings to battle on your side. It was honestly a really cool, like, win con. Rarely ever actually, like, popped off with it but uh, still really cool. I think there's like a Valentina list that uh, really made use of that. And then there's like some kind of rule change uh, where she like lost the God's art whenever she died. So it was like local strong, probably not gonna be like tournament viable, but like still a really cool deck. I, I don't know where the list is, but yeah. But after the release of Typhon, the infinite monster, its support changed the way or the Origin of Seven Lands was played. Using the ability of revealing cards from outside the game, combined with the ability of cards like Drywing, Mechanize, Wind of Destruction, creates an advantage that every deck has been able to use. Yes. Yes, and it was used a lot. Woof. This became even better after the release of Ainz and its support, giving more revealing choices from outside the game to the Origin of the Seven Lands. Considering that doing a combination ban with Drywing Mechanized Wind of Destruction wouldn't be enough as Squirrel of Solari has the same ability, and knowing that it has too much versatility in one single card thanks to the outside of the game support of Typhon and Ainz, we have decided that the Origin of Seven Lands is banned. I'm kind of sad to see it go because yeah, it was a cool win con, but yeah, no, just being able to reveal stuff from outside the game, like, yeah. It's too good. Warhorse was a mistake. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Let me, uh, let me take a swig before we get this. When we developed Warhorse, we wanted it to fit into the support of Aristel of the Twin Prince, as he is the one that has the favor of the Twelve Sacred Knights. Using Charge of the Fairy Tale King, we wanted the Fairy Tale deck to have a Resonator that could grant swiftness to any Resonator being searched in the deck. However, Warhorse has been used in many other decks, combined with cards like the Awakening of Feasting, Daily Research, Olivia Thunder Empress, Mocking of the Machine Lord. Very meta relevant. Uh, it basically became a tier zero form almost and other cards that can search in the deck playing a zero or one wheel yeah <laughs> The most searched card to play Warhorse from the deck has been Prototype Magi Trooper, a Resonator with total cost of zero. Yeah, basically just like flood the board 
with a bunch of bodies and oh you're playing red in your uh, machina deck wow crazy sprinting steward could do that turn one if you want to thanks to those two resonators a board with four or more resonators in turn one paying less than two will is possible and not every deck can have answers for that board as warhorse will become more popular with any card that searches in the deck that we release in further sets in order to prevent this card to be included in any deck that can search in order to have advantages that cost zero will we have decided that warhorse is banned that that is cool mechanic should have been like tied to aristella like the, he gets he gets the less right ability only for aristella or something like that like i know not everyone's like a big fan of erratas i'm definitely not i'd rather cards just be good upon release but yeah even then i i don't i don't think it would stay yeah forest meditation in the past when this card was released when decks especially when rune decks were the best decks in new frontiers combined with sprite stone <laughs> Ugh. Combined with Spirit Stone, Forest Meditation let the player to draw three cards, paying zero will as the Spirit Stones can be banished being rested. This play had few answers, and combined with the Enter ability of Hanzo, Chief of the Koga, this play could be made twice in a single long game. It's very good. Today, rune decks are not as powerful as they were in the past, and there are new answers to this play, like Evil Elemental Uprising, Horn of the Sacred Beast, or the new card of the Underworld Secrets, Memory of Worlds. Also, thanks to the the revolution order mechanic and the bond mechanic the decks that rely on cards that can cancel other cards are not as good as they used to be and the older rulers that don't have partner are not as popular as we want them to be in order to change this we have decided that forest meditation is no longer banned that yeah no that's it's a fair justification yeah we have kaguya which uh man <laughs> good card kaguya sealed god of the moon three years ago in the last world grand prix kaguya sealed god of the moon was the most popular card of the entire Grand Prix, the ability of canceling anything, the Rune 2 ability of becoming easier to play, and the high cost high reward ability of recovering 7 magic stones and drawing 7 cards forced the inclusion of this card on the ban list. But this happened when the Rune decks were the best decks in New Frontiers, now in Wanderer the Rune decks are not as good as they were, and the Wind decks that rely on cards that cancel other cards are not as popular as they used to be. We believe that Kaguya sealed god of the moon will help the older rune decks to become more popular but not as dominant as they were with this in mind we have decided that kaguya sealed god of the moon is no longer banned completely fair so combination with uh, gerda the tear of passion and ki lua fossil girl of melted ice the ability of gerda the tear of passion can remove the ice counters of ki lua of melted ice we know that there is another resonator that removes all ice counters from ki lua alisar's minion of lapis but to do so uses an enter ability instead of an activated ability as we have developed ki lua to remove ice counters using its support we have decided to combine Combinate? Wow, yeah, I guess that's, yeah, yeah, sure. We have decided to combinate ban these two cards. Is that is that proper grammar? I would have said combination ban. I, I guess that's the wrong grammar there. Heart, heart talk and hide. Why is it so low res? That's so weird to me. They have the original card images in their in their own database. I don't know what's going on there. This is mostly for heart to heart talk and yeah, hide. Uh, the ability of heart to heart talk, you have to reduce, uh, okay, yeah, we're typing is weird. The ability of heart to heart talk to reduces the cost of the ability of hide solitary assassin of playing cards in the shinobi ex area as paying zero will to put cards in the shinobi ex area is not what we intended when we developed hide solitary assassin we decide to combinate ban them yeah no, this is probably gonna be a fair justification i just felt like asuka hasn't seen enough competitive success i don't know that it might just be me <sighs> the reason there's a uh, two here is that uh, there is a uh, asuka from uh, the star deck that only only has a uh, partner one and there's an Asuka from uh, the set that has partner two in case anyone's wondering why there's two Asuka cards there we have seen a lot of different graveyard decks using Asuka gravekeeper of Tsukiyomi with different strategies to bring resonators from the graveyard to the field but every single one of them relies on spirit of decay it's a good card instead of exploring different options as spirit of decay has not been played in other decks and we want to see more creativity we have decided to combinate ban 
Spirit of Decay with both Asuka cards. It's fair, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I guess, I guess, uh, I guess that's fair. I really haven't noticed Asuka, like, doing super incredible, but, I mean, I can understand that combination ban. And yeah, this one's gonna be pretty justifiable. Child of the Light Moon and Child of the Fire Moon. When we released A New World Emerges, there were five Moon Child rulers that could be ten different options of bond using rulers with partner. The most popular option has been Child of the Light Moon and Child of the Fire Moon. After the release of the Underworld of Secrets, there are nine different child rulers, so the options are more than three times higher. As we want players to explore new bond options, we have decided to combinate ban them. Yeah, no, that's fair. Yeah, and this was a this was a fun combo that uh yeah. <laughs> Back to nature and painter gears. As Painter Gears can target any entity, that means it can target Magic Stones. The ability of giving the light or water attribute to a Magic Stone and then destroying it with Back to Nature is interesting, but as we think that destroying Magic Stones this easily can produce frustration to the players whose Magic Stones are being destroyed, we have decided to combinate ban Back to Nature with Painter Gears. Yeah, no, it's fair. It's a cool, it's a cool combo, but yeah, that, that'd be really fucking annoying. Uh, yeah. Also, I think you can have eight of this card in your deck, the Painter your gears so <laughs> yeah <laughs> Squirrel of Solari and Reconnaissance Gears. The ability of Squirrel of Solari of recovering a magic stone combined with the ability of paying Reconnaissance Gears into play paying zero will is similar to what the Origin of the Seven Lands does with Squirrel of Solari. As we have decided to ban the Origin of the Seven Lands, we have decided to combinate ban these cards to prevent doing something similar with different cards. Engineer of Eternal and Falchion Solitary Scientist. We have seen that the Mastery Edition ability of Engineer of Eternal combined with the ability of searching for additions of the support of Falchion Solitary Scientist leads to boards with a lot of zero cost resonators that draw cards as easily as in turn one. Warhorse has been added to the ban list in order to prevent this, so for the same reason we have decided to combinate ban these cards. Yeah, no, that, that's a fair one. It's definitely really powerful, and you can get to two additions, yeah, turn one, so be able to cantrip this card, like, yeah. It's a really cool combo, but yeah, combination nation banning it that's that's fair falchion is still very strong I, I would say that you know even like with uh the damascus moon that came out see he's still pretty solid but uh engineer of eternal getting hit that uh definitely like it probably drops him down uh maybe a tier or at least like low of the current like higher tier that he's in so yeah uh that's the uh, new ban list the updates i think are good i'm still questionable about the ferris bell and uh saying the stage for Providence, that one. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that one yet. I don't know if that's gonna be a problem or not. Uh, it's probably gonna be fine, actually, but, uh, yeah. The Guinevere and Unity of the Machine Knights, uh, that's probably gonna be fine. There's probably gonna be some cool decks coming from that, but, uh, yeah. Well, that's the new ban list. I don't have any qualms with it. I think, uh, the combinations are fine. Yeah, no, I, I think the combinations are fine, all, all, all in all. I was a little iffy on the Spirit of Decay and Asuka one, but like if it's actually like been a, you know, all the decks look the same, I guess that's fine to ban it, I guess. Spirit of the K is just like a really solid card. Like even rune decks are using it because like harvesting season is a thing, but uh, I think this is a fine ban list. Seeing uh, the Origin of Seven Lands and War Horse getting hit, that definitely makes the format a lot healthier. Yeah, no, I, I, th I think this is good. Is there anything on here that you guys don't agree with? Is there anything here that you would change? Obviously, uh, I would want uh, Virgil and Belial off of the ban list, but uh, I understand why they are on there. Yeah, and like I said, that I, gave, I gave my two cents as far as like how I would alter it so that way they're like still like somewhat banned yeah uh, yeah but yeah no aside from that that'll be it for the video have a good night thanks for watching see you in the next one